welcome back to my channel let's study this is devashmita again back with you with a new chapter of geography that is resources the name of our chapter is resources so first let us know what are the topics that we are going to learn in this chapter so first of all we have to know what are resources the definition of resources that is what are resources then we have different types of resources that is the classification of the resources and third one is that conservation of resources which is very important so first let us know what are resources it is very important because the name of our chapter suggests what are resources so everything around us that we see everything around us that we see which is having some utility what is utility utility means usability that we can use in our daily life we are using it in our regular life that is helpful to us and value which is having some value these are the two points which makes a substance resource now our resource can have two types of value Technology has developed 
a lot and now mobile phones are a very important resource to us we are using mobile phones in various ways so that is all about resources and factors that changes a substance into a resource now i am going to give examples of resources that are pen we are writing with pen without pen yes we will obviously face problem so pen is a resource pencil books we are reading books table chair etc school bag tiffin box water bottle everything is a resource to us why because it is having a usability that is we are using it in our daily life and it is having obviously some value to us so that is all about resources now the factors that changes a substance into resource examples of this so now we will know about the classification of different types of resources mainly resources are classified into three categories number 1 is about the natural resources number 2 human made resource and number 3 is human resources so let us first discuss about natural resources natural resources are the resources which we directly get from the nature and using it in that form only no changes we do when we use a natural resource its original form is utilized by us for example water air sunlight this all are natural resources now this natural resource can be classified into four categories developmental use based on origin based on stock and based on distribution so first development and use so this in this category developmental use there are two types of two we can divide it into two types that is actual resource and potential resource
exhaustible resources. For example, fossil fuels like coal, petroleum, natural gas, these are non-renewable resources because they can be exhausted very easily by the human activities. And last is that based on distribution. Based on distribution, there are two categories. Ubiquitous resource, localized resource. What are ubiquitous resources? The resources which are present all around. No specific places are given for these Water, soil, air, this all are ubiquitous resources because they are found all around us. And localized resources. These are some of the resources which are present in some parts of the world or some parts of our country. Everywhere we cannot find such resources. For example, gold, silver, coal, petroleum. These are fine. These are this can be found in particular places of the world. So that is about ubiquitous resource, localized resource. So today up to this much, we have learned about natural resources. At first we have learned about resource, factors that changes our resource, a substance into resource, classifications of resource, natural resource and uh, the classifications under the natural resource. I am coming very soon to the next video of the